Daddy is so nice. I started to eat it already, but it looks so nice. He put orange, banana, apple, yogurt, something else in there, something else in there. And, and a little bit of chocolate. And a little bit of chocolate and egg and hash brown. Blueberries, Brendan granola. It looked a lot better when I before I started eating into it, but how sweet well, is that? Little Brinny, he's got a fever again. How did that happen, Brinny? Huh? Too much fun on the cold beaches. It That's was... why we put two jackets. It wasn't too cold last night, though. No, the night maybe, before might have been, I don't know. Maybe he picked something up and put it in his mouth, or... Well, yeah, he, we, we gotta work on washing those hands more, Brinny. Yeah, he was just warm all night last night and just wanted to nurse all night, huh? <gasps> so did Daddy. Oh dear. Oops. Well, we have to do breakfast in bed Saturday, even though we're not still in bed. We're kind of in our pajamas still. Because mommy takes care of baby all night long, every night. And that's not easy when you need sleep like mommy does. You know, my wife has love languages, and then she's got one language that's above all that. It's sleep. That's it. It's just, right? Uh -huh. That's your love language. That's, I need that's your lots language. of sleep. <laughs> I have to have lots of food consistently every few hours. Nicole has to have lots of sleep consistently. <laughs> and so, Brendan's so good having some apple. Good healthy boy. Sissy sets an example. She has her apple. We get we. Sissy helps a lot too. She carried Brendan all over the town last night, up and down the beach. And so she's having some apples, peanut butter, and a little treat. Oh, that's good. You're chewing that up so you can spit it on the carpet? That's excellent. <laughs> that's all. Aw, Sissy's taking care of you. That's so sweet. You all comfy on the boppy? Aww. And we're back at urgent care, huh? You're being so mellow. He's been fussy all day today. I have my phone, I forgot my camera, but he's been fussy and clingy all day. So, no fever anymore. We're just waiting for the doctor right now. So hopefully his, he doesn't have, uh, he had a double ear infection two weeks ago, so hopefully that's Daddy. not what it is, huh? Hopefully he didn't come back. Do we make another baby? There she is, Jane Frederick, our hero. <laughs> Brendan, should we make a little brother or sister for you? Ah, look at that. This is where Brendan was conceived. Yay. She's an amazing doctor. I highly, highly recommend her. We don't know. He may have been conceived in a bed. <laughs> Maybe. Well, possibly, but... I think so. They helped. They helped. They helped it was, a lot. It was about three, four, what, ten thousand dollars for no. the psychology. That, the that's, that's, no. Yeah. We'll tell you our story maybe in another vlog. Ninety <laughs> billion. Ninety billion. Brendan's sperm one out of ninety to, billion. I had to bring into this office. <laughs> that's a lot of spermies. But we should put on the screen T M I. T M I. Everyone's thinking T M I. Our fertility doctor is in the same building as the urgent care doctor, so we just walked up stairs. here to, to, we have stairs, to look at it. Yeah. Well, guys, it's, I'm not sure if you can hear me, but I'm whispering, obviously. Bryn is asleep. Poor guy, he's had a fever on and off all day today. I've been giving him ibuprofen, and that's Brookie getting ready for bed. But, um... <clears throat> So he just laid down um, in the bed and um, he's got on an, another round of antibiotics. He's still got an ear infection. So that's what the doctor said, that he could still see some red in there. But he's coming back out. But <clears throat> so um, yeah, it's been a long day just taking care of him. Um, so thankful I can just be home with him 
and take care of him. Uh, thankful that Jeff, he got groceries today and um, so tomorrow, Brandon and I, we won't be going to church, but Jeff will go because he's teaching two classes. So, um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh yeah, and it's not 90 billion with the bee sperms, what we said earlier. I'm sure it's 90 million. We thought about that afterwards, we're like, no, it couldn't be 90 billion. I think it's 90 million. <laughs> that was That was the count, though when we took his sperm into the, the fertility clinic. But um, we'll have to um, tell you guys more about that experience. It was just an amazing experience. Something I thought would never happen, happened. Finally got pregnant. That's why you see such a big age gap between Brooke and Bryn, because all those years I didn't think I would be able to get pregnant again. We can talk about that more. <laughs> I'd love to share it with you guys and maybe hopefully um, help others that are going for going through the same infertility journey. But um, thanks so much for being with us today. It's so much more fun with you a part of our journey. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. And this is the beachcomber. Oh. Look at it down there. I met with the owner of that restaurant. Hi, Mister. Mr. Lizard. <laughs>